Fiona is just happy and loves life and full of energy. Come here. My mother's infected by Fiona because my mother can't get around like she used to. She's kind of at Fiona's will because all she can do is yell. But she's yelling in vain because Fiona doesn't listen to anybody. Stop, Fiona. Fiona's into everything all the time. And she just makes my life a living nightmare. Straight away, Victoria gets a taste of the trouble Fiona stirs up in the kitchen. Fiona tries to get into the food. She's a really a high jumper. And she continues until she gets what she wants. Has, has she ever been fed from the table? She ever... He's the culprit. He'll go, oops, and throw food on the floor. I sent Jessica okay. and Todd out of the room because I wanted to get a sense of what it was like when Florence was by herself making her food. Fiona was intently interested on an open bag of chips, and she jumped really high to try and get the packet of chips off the counter. Seconds later, Fiona finds a more accessible snack, popcorn. So if you turn your back for a minute, she's up onto that table. Right. Eating. Yes, you know, when I get so frustrated. Okay. Chips and popcorn aren't the only things Fiona has developed a taste for. She's drinking out of your water. No, Fiona. Fiona gets into everything. A trash can, if I put things on my bed. She's always into my knee highs, and she takes off with it. And when I get my knee high back, it has this full of holes. I have loads and loads of knee highs that's full of holes. Hold on, hold on. What is that? What is that? Fiona is a tiny dog. She's a powder puff. She's very sweet. But she is wreaking havoc around this house. Fiona, no. Fiona. Now she's stolen something? Fiona, it's too much for me to deal with Fiona because I, I just can't jump up and run someplace. Hi. Because Fiona's so little and so excited, it's really hard to get at her. Oh, my gosh. Victoria Stilwell has spent a day observing the difficulties Bichon Frise Fiona has caused in the Shields no. household. No, Fiona, no. Now, she wants to teach a very hyperactive Fiona how to control her impulses. I know that Fiona's smart, but she has no self-inhibition at all, and it's something that I have to teach her. So it's gonna be a challenge. So I'm gonna teach her. When you say leave it, that's what she's gotta do. And I'm gonna use food to do it. I'm going to start off by showing her the food. She knows the food's in my hand. What she has to do, she has to take her nose away from it before she gets it. Good girl. But as soon as she backed her body away, she got it. Victoria then adds a verbal command. Leave it. Good girl. Now I'm upping the ante. I'm going to show her the treat so she can see it as well as smell it. This is harder for her. Or the impulse control. Leave it. Good girl. Now, is she going to be able to leave food if I put it on the floor right in front of her? I don't think so. OK. This is going to be hard for her. Leave it. Uh-oh. Leave it. Good girl. <laughs> Isn't that great? Good girl. When we first started, I, I didn't think that Victoria could train her. I was kind of surprised. With Fiona doing so well, Victoria wants to try the command with Fiona's two weaknesses, stockings and popcorn. Oh, dear. I don't think she's even interested in the knee high without the popcorn <laughs> being here. When Jessica brought the popcorn in my knee high, I say, this is it. She's going for it. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Good girl. I want Florence to have a little place in her heart for Fiona, and this is doing it. Oh, brother. Now it's Jessica's turn to try the command with Fiona's favorite food. OK. Leave it. Good girl. Very good. I never thought in a million years she would resist temptation like that. I was, it was amazing. Leave it. Good girl. 
I was just blown away when Jessica said, leave it, and she backed up. I almost fainted. For a dog to self-inhibit itself, it's a big deal. So I think she's done really well. Florence does not like it when Fiona's in the kitchen. She's fed human food from the family when they're walking around the kitchen, when they're sitting at the kitchen table when they're eating. So of course she's going to try and get food. Florence has had enough of it. What we're going to train Fiona to do is to stay behind the line. She is not allowed to come in when you are either eating here or you are cooking something. She is behind the line. So I want to teach her. Being behind the line is good. Good. I'm going to walk into the kitchen. Out. Good girl. I'm putting a word to it, out. I'm also putting a hand signal where I'm pointing my hand out. Now I'm telling her to go out and I'm waiting to give her her reward. The more I wait to treat Fiona while she's out of the kitchen, the longer she'll stay out of the kitchen. Good girl. Todd is the biggest culprit of feeding Fiona table scraps, so Victoria tests his resolve. So I'll just go around as if you're assembling something, assembling a meal. If she comes at any more over the line, you tell her. All right. No, 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 out. Out. Good girl, good girl. You're such a good dog, Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear that coming I from you? <laughs> well, my mother made the statement that Fiona is such a good dog. I think time stopped. I think everybody <laughs> in that room looked at her and said, okay, who is this woman? But I think that kind of reiterated that, okay, my mother's really trying. What a difference. So you can see, with a bit of training, mm -hmm. what she can do and how actually well-behaved she can be. Yeah. We're just teaching her now how to behave. Oh. After some time outdoors with her owner, Fiona gets some training with Florence as well. Leave it. Good girl. Good girl. I have no doubt in my mind that my mother is definitely warming up to Fiona. Seeing both of them, it's almost like they're training each other. Ah. Good girl. And she is really making an effort to build a relationship with Fiona. And that is so shocking because I'm telling you, my mother never did that before. Ah. It's much nicer to have this Fiona than it was to have the old Fiona. Good girl. Later, Todd helps out in the kitchen and toughens his stance with Fiona. Out. Good girl. No, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Good girl. Here you go. I'm just amazed at how she listens because in the past, I'm telling you, she would jump up for everything, big for everything, and she just doesn't do it anymore. Good girl. That's a good girl, Fiona. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.